it has a different flavor, you know, the the city does, than other places in the country. I mean, it just, you know, it's sort of a work hard, play hard kind of, kind of a town. Because my parents moved to Opelousas, Louisiana after Hurricane Katrina, um, I haven't spent a lot of time um, in my old neighborhood and like, because it's, it's so it's changed so much, obviously. This is my old uh, elementary school. It's called Corpus Christi. It's a church. It's where I was baptized. It's where my mom was baptized. It's where I went to school. My brother and sister went to school um, as kids. So these houses you see that are straight shots, you're going to keep going, are called row houses. So when I was a kid up until eight, when I was eight years old, this is where I hung out. I played. The barbershop, I don't even know if it's still there. When I had hair, the barbershop that I used to go to. Haven't been around here in a long time. We lived upstairs, and uh, it was me and my, my family was my brothers and my sisters and my mom and dad. And we had both sides upstairs, and uh, the lady who owned the house lived down here. And it, it just, uh, I would play in the streets, and we would go up and down and play sports, and do the things that normal, you know, that you do as kids, except it was really hot. When it gets hot down here, you can take all your clothes off. You're still going to be hot. You dance when you wanted to. You, you, you know, ate all this great food. You would get together with family and neighborhoods. And people would be sitting out in the porch. It was a sense that, um, you know, a, a party could break out at any point in time. It was a lot of fun to grow up in New Orleans to have that part of me, and so it comes out of me, you know, whether it's, you know, dancing or singing or uh, wanting to have people over and cooking. You know, my childhood was, we, we didn't miss much. We didn't have much, but we also didn't miss a lot of things. You know, we, we felt full. You know, this is, this is the essence of life. I mean, it's to enjoy each other and to, to, to get together uh, and to be a family. It doesn't mean you have to have a lot. You know, and that's one of the things um, that I was always raised to believe and I try to get my kids to understand. It's just a special place, you know. It's just really, really special to, to be back and to see it. My grandmother's house is this yellow house here. That's where she lived. That was like a second home. You know, I, the day I started at Buffalo was the day Katrina hit. You know, it, it's, it's good to see the city um, over the years, uh, in the last seven, eight years, come back from Katrina the way it has. I'll show you what a levee looks like. A levee is this embank, embankment, this wall, and then the concrete around it. You have the dirt wall, and then you have this um, concrete. And what happened is... The engineers did not go deep enough into the bedrock. So when all of the pressure of the storm surge came up into the different canals, at its weakest point, it broke. Right here is where the levee broke. And literally, it broke right here and pushed the house that was there into the middle of the street. So again, you can see the houses are higher now. So that was typical, and that's new. And if you pull here to the right, it's where my house used to be. But that's where the house used to be, 5315. You miss what used to be here in, the, in life before, but you also, you know, have to get through it and, you know, move on. We'll go back and I'll take y'all through by the my high school. I played uh, football and track, baseball, basketball. We had a powerlifting team, and so I did that for five years. You don't have to be an insider to be a part of the fun and the festivities and the party in here. You know, it's they're gonna welcome you um, with open arms to to be a part of it. Thanks for coming out, seeing my hometown.
Hope you enjoyed the tour.